Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the science behind the total solar eclipse. While we know it is a fascinating event to watch, there is much more at work than meets the eye. And here to give us a better understanding of the celestial event is CBS Science and Futures contributor Dr. Michi Okaku. He joins us now from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Thank you for joining us. Glad to be on the show. All right, so how might this eclipse further our understanding of the universe? Well, first of all, the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon, uh, but it's also 400 times farther away. And so we have this cosmic coincidence that two 400s match exactly, and bingo, we have a total eclipse. This is the most heavily studied solar eclipse in human history. Every scientist believes that this is on their bucket list. They're out there <laughs> watching the sun right now. All right, you made it right here. All right, uh, why should any of us outside the path of totality care about the solar eclipse? Why is it such a big deal? Well, it's the eclipse of the century. You have to wait uh, decades for uh, these solar eclipses to come. Now, eclipses happen all the time, somewhere on the planet Earth, mainly in the oceans, about twice a year, a partial eclipse. But rarely does one cut right across the U.S. of A. Now, we scientists are studying this to understand what are called solar flares, gigantic eruptions in the atmosphere of the sun that one day, if it hits the Earth, could wipe out our satellites lights, power stations cause blackouts everywhere. Oh, no. That happened in 1859, in fact, and we don't want that to happen now in the electric age. And that's why we're studying this very carefully to analyze the atmosphere of the sun. So there is a way to prevent that in the future, you think? Well, yes, there's a way by reinforcing satellites, by creating redundant systems, by making sure that power stations don't short circuit. And remember, these are rare events. They only happen once every few decades. A big one was in 1859. And we think that one day we could be on the hit list of the sun. If the sun has a temper tantrum and throws off a solar flare, it could really wipe out the internet, telecommunications. It could cause food riots when refrigerators go down and people have a total blackout and lack of communication. We don't want that. That's why we physicists are studying the sun very carefully. Believe it or not, the sun, our closest celestial star, we know very little about the atmosphere of the sun. All right, let's hope that never happens there. Doc, uh, final question for you. Uh, what are you looking out for in today's, uh, today's eclipse, I should say? Well, when you look up in the sky, first of all, be sure to have your special sunglasses, your ISO approved sunglasses there. And watch for the corona, that is the atmosphere of the sun that surrounds the sun. It is about a million degrees, much hotter than the surface of the sun. Ooh. So the secret is to understand the corona. We don't understand the atmosphere of the sun that well. All right, theoretical physicist, Dr. Michio Kaku, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.